Most people in life today have particular fabrics and particular clothes that they like and dislike. Over the course of our lifetime, we might also be changing our figures. Sometimes we pork around when we get to college town. There's always that thing called a freshman 40, meaning that people, both men and women, go off to school, get access to cafeteria food, which is heavenly laden with starches and other things, and they eat a lot because they can and they gain a good 40 pounds with the stress of being away from home and mom and dad and the freedom of figuring out how to take care of themselves when they're away from home. In life we have most of time to talk about truth that every human being in the world has the right to choose their food. At the same time they have to decide what do I feel like eating today but what should I eat today? What you feel like eating today may not be what God would have you eat today. The marvelous thing about a pendulum practice is that God can guide you to the food you need for your life today. God can guide you in a way that most people don't succeed. You see, if you're losing weight, it's one thing. If you're losing weight because you're ill, that's another. If you're gaining weight because you're content in your life, that's super. But if you're gaining weight because you're stressed to hell, that's not good. You see, we can decide whether we're going to choose to listen to God or whether we're going to continue to choose to listen to our own mind. When we listen to our own mind, we often make mistakes that cost us a lot. 